Hey everybody, this is B. I'm playing Greed Only Memories. It's a new cyberpunk adventure. Uh, I've only kind of heard about it. Well, I mean, I've heard about it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, is there a trailer? No, we'll, we'll get up to the trailer. Oh no, we're starting. Okay, I guess we're starting. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world is on the cusp of not one, but three technological singularities. Cool. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. Relationship organizational managers, or ROMs for short, are the commonplace companion and tool of any modern person. However, they are still machines at their core. The logic they are built on impedes their ability to think for themselves and determine their own behavior. That's right. You see, this is at the heart of why we took on this merger with Parallax. We wanted to take artificial intelligence to the next level. And now, well, we have devices that can truly adapt. Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer buries himself in schematics and equations, trying to bring a new kind of life into the world. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Anyway, so let's play this. Ooh, exciting! All right, new game. Boop. Prologue. It is December twentieth, twenty sixty-four, in Neo San Francisco. I don't know why I'm yelling. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Hey, okay. lips. Home sweet home. Hey. Okay. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Ah, your bed. I would like to look at it. Your home within your home. Nothing like curling up under those blankets and escaping away for a while. You'd better submit your article before you turn in or you won't have a place to sleep for long. Yes, let's talk to my bed. This bed only chats back when you're sleep talking. It's not the most well-designed function. Okay, let's not sleep yet. Let's see, files, there's a door. Uh, well, at least you feel safe behind the newly installed security door. Uh, you command the door to stay locked. It beeps uh, stoically back at you. It's late and nothing is really open right now. Okay, oh, there's a book. Hello, book. A copy of Wakefield. Sometimes the old books are the best, especially to keep your window propped open. Ooh, plants. Hello. This plant is in pretty bad shape. Aren't they supposed to be one of the easiest plants to take care of? Aww. They say plants react positively to conversation, but this poor thing might be too far gone already. Ooh, can I water? Ugh. You don't know exactly what that ooze is, but only that it seems to be growing. Running water just makes it worse. You, you try to talk to the sink, but it gives you the cold shoulder. How rude. Oh, I just have my ID card. Don't stick that in there. You're certainly not going to be the one to reach inside that to retrieve it. All right, so I have my ID card. Uh, a small plastic ID card with your name, picture, and stats on it. Cool. 
All right. Oh, what's that? Beats headphones. A pair of GX Ultra Beats headphones, the ultimate in budget audio. You'd better try them out so you can start crafting the review. Headphones added to items. These are the GX Ultra Beats. You need to write a review for. Guess now is a good, as good as time as any to get to work. They're smart headphones, as you should be able to use them with the some things lying around your apartment. Okay, so let me use those damn headphones. Oh, play music. Ah, I got an achievement. Alright, so I have headphones, a uh, stack of papers, I'd like to look at them. A stack of paper for your unpublished novel. Uh, all blank, there's nothing to read or hear. Okay, talk to them? Most people write a talk on paper, you just talk to paper. Blank paper, okay, let's you uh, look at headphones. Top of line and budget headwear, okay. Uh, can I use my headphones to listen to the loop? I listen. You can hear the sink gurgling in high def. Cool. All right. Coffee. Coffee. Careful. These are review copy. GX probably wouldn't appreciate them coming back covered in coffee. All right. Can I look at it? Coffee. The great equalizer. The only thing that the poor and rich alike need to chug through the day, you assume. Cool. Can I drink the coffee? You take a sip of the old stale coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. Okay. Ooh, what's this? A sheet of paper. Look at the sheet of paper. A single piece of loose paper, unsorted of uh, loose unsorted paper, lies on the ground. Uh, it sort of suits the room's aesthetic better if they're on the ground, don't you think? Okay. So, oh, there's a fridge. Look at the fridge. The video screen on the front says, mustard, half full, spoiled milk, 10 days past expired. Can I take anything? You open the fridge to see a bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. Maybe the spoiled milk has one more good day in it. Maybe. No, thank you. Maybe I'll take it later. I don't know. I feel like I should, but uh, use an item on Lappy. Okay, you sync up the headphones and watch a stream of your favorite anime film. Uh, this is Lappy. Ah, good old Lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but, well, it works. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a window. Nope, wait, I don't want to look at a plant. I want to look at the window. A beautiful 24-7 view, if you're a fan of up-close masonry. Uh, oh, boot up Lampy. Here we go. Live Intelligence Processing System. Flips. All right. You have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Okay, so today, Journal Logic, Lips Live, and Lips Inbox. Let's look at that. Uh, your inbox. A hell so terrifying, so specific, so personal that no other living thing should dare enter. Luckily, you're the only person with the password. Let's see, spam mail, spam, oh wait, spam, scam, bill, work mail. Hey there, I'm the lead editor of for OMG Sounds. We're a new up and coming audio review feed looking for hot talent. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd be able to give you some great exposure and if we like yourself, could possibly throw some creds your way. Doesn't anyone pay their journalists anymore? All right, so we have a rent, a promotional email from Hassi, a coupon for five credits back on Hassi Infinity. Hassi. Uh, Hassi Infinity has all of your daily calories with none of the nutritional value, like the opposite of a diet version. 
Let's see. Oh, I got an invite. What, do, what am I invited to? Xmas lights. An invite to come see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Trisha Lee DDS. Why does the dentist want you to see a lighting ceremony? Feels like a trap. <laughs> and a weekly update. This is your weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one source for te classic technology. Popular pieces this week, The King of Click, a retrospective on the classic model and keyboard. Uh, I, sure, let's unsubscribe. Oh, request denied, description cannot be modified. All right, uh, let's go back. Uh, let's see, Journal Logic and OK Today, what's that? OK Today is NeoSF's most beloved morning show all about news and entertainment. People in Neo, Oklahoma are still confused by the name. Uh, this is the show's online newspaper called The Scanline. OK Today is usually all about feel-good news, but it does focus on serious current events at times as well. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see, uh, current events article. Uh, let's see. Human revolution remains vigilant in hashtag stay human movement. December 19th. The human revolution is on day 10 of the protesting outside various uh, genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene splicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Genus employee Mort Crane spoke to OK Today exclusively. According to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been a paramount importance to us, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The human Revolution stands behind the claim that genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The group feels that the goals stated by Genus, in addition to uh, newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary, dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what? It's a one protester who has to be remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. More information to follow as the story develops late into the holiday 2064 season. June Valmer, Anna okay today all right we have a sports article let's look at it the neo sf 49ers hashtag quest for 10 is back on december 19 sunday's big game at new candlestick brings an important question to everyone's mind can the 49ers punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the lombardi lombardi trophy back to neo san francisco it would mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50-year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses to the Mexico City Luchadors and the New York Giants. They've brought on a fresh coach, but controversy surrounds their new quarterback, Patricia Lopez, as some vocal sports fans continue to accuse her of having cybernetic implants in her throwing arm that's illegal, that illegally enhance her, her abilities. Uh, certain modifications of implants are banned from the league, but their official reports state that their repeated investigations into Lopez found no evidence to substantiate these rumors. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a ma major football team. Hmm. Ha. The 49ers look to reclaim their top spots since their last win uh, with their Super Bowl blah, blah, blah victory over the Tokyo Titans. Uh, Sunday's game is a rubber uh, match, and the winner secures a spot in, in the playoffs. Between our Neo SF 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs, it'll be a close game to say the least. Really, even in turning 64, Kansas City has kept the Chiefs? Okay. Catch Sunday's uh, results here first. For all things, everything, I'm June Valmer Anna. Okay, today. Oh, she wrote it again. Oh, now there's somebody else here. A local one. Let's read that one. Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. December 19th, reports shows that local foodie attraction JJ Froyo Stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue uh, ROM committing an act of vandalism. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large ROM that had no shell. Witnesses state the alleged perpetrator had been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees of the western side of the park. This is the first case of a wrong being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. 
People say that track, uh, police say that tracking down a potential owner of the rum is likely impossible. Some speculate that the strange rum may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the rum, rogue or under orders. Okay, uh, today reached out to Parallax for a comment and they assured us that the rogue ROM is mere, purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when low revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this wild ROM the real deal or could it have been a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained. More as the story progresses. Mel Hopkins, okay today. And I think that's everybody. Cool, cool. All right. Let us finally go back into our oops, our journal. Uh, okay. Oops. Junk net. All right. Time to get your work out of the way. Let's do this. Type, 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 type. Selling your soul. Bits by bits. Character by character. Uh, finished. Now to send it off to the editor. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX Ultra Beats is a ticket out of your poverty and into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed, but first, log out. Or you could watch some lips live first before you sleep. Ooh, I kind of want to do that now. You turn on the GX Ultra Beats and they sync automatically as you start to watch one of the baby animal feeds. Lappy speakers feel neglected. Ah, uh, is that it? One more, one more. You turn on the GX Ultra and then animal feeds. Lappy feels neglected. Okay, log out. Alright, so now I can go to sleep. What is that? H Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi there. What are you doing? Just, uh... Hey. Oh. Uh, good. You're finally awake. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. Are you that significantly opposed to cybernetic events? What? Huh? How did you get to my apartment? I came in through the front door. The cryptographic algor algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the set, uh, the Secugate M14 723B. 17 trillion? The Secugate M1? I knew my landlord was full of it when he said it was the best. Yeah. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross-referenced known significant numeric codes against the stored personal data in you. Data. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it was sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do it once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken. And that you left it open. My window lock is broken. You know my dog's birthday? Uh, I'll go with that one. Yes, I attempted to repair it, but it uses a priority bolt head that I'm not equipped to remove. I took the liberty of filling in a maintenance request with your building superintendent. Considering the speed at which he has historically worked, I estimate it will take him 16 working days to complete the repair. Not quite to my standards. Aw. You know my dog's birthday? Hold on, what are you doing in my apartment? Let's go with that one. Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the do door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. I would suggest investing in an... Insect model 1355 automatic security door. The 1385 is newer, but I find the uh, added attack vector introduced by the voice controls isn't worth the convenience. It has 305 uh, star ratings on Congo. Oh my god, I love this robot. Is Can I say that? I love this robot. Like, I don't even know his deal. I'm pretty sure he hasn't killed me. He's not going to kill me, and I just love this robot. Okay. I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. 
Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my micro microactuator, so I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Ah oh, yeah, the piece of paper is gone. As you awoke, I was trying to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've run into a bit of a snag. Forget all that, tell me where- I no, I want to listen to this. Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have broken down in some way while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. An electrical surge caused significantly uh, caused significant damage to several other components as well. I would consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Oh, look at a little question mark face. I love him. Okay. All my work was on there. I don't have enough money for a computer. There we go. Don't fret. Oh, I did manage to back up your data's drive contents before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make repairs. It is the least I can do. That's nice, but you still haven't told me why you're here, or okay, and you decided to break in my home because... Alright, I like that first one. Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all of the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Who's Hayden? You know my friend Hayden? Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in years. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Uh, help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but certainly the most statistically supported. I have done the math. Slow down, just start from the beginning, and why come to me? Why come to me? I ran an algorithm. Ah, uh, yeah. I ran an algorithm against every content in Hayden's address book. Based on my assumptions of visibility, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable uh, probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both uh, be able and willing to help me, and the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Okay, I've never looked for a missing person, but I could try. Why should I get involved? I haven't seen Hayden in forever. I think I understand what you mean. All right. This person that I haven't seen for years is missing. Uh, I'm kind of going between, I've never looked for a missing person, but I could try, or I think I understand what you mean. I'll go with I think what you under, I understand. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some unknown persons. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape, lest I be captured by the intruders too. I crawled out of the window and, after some deliberation, came here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Was anyone out for Hayden? Why would they want Hayden? Why would they want Hayden? Hayden is one of the top researchers of Parallax, but I can't imagine that would be enough to get him kidnapped. Especially since no one has ever even tried offering him more money yet. I suspect it has to do with me. Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with this? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turin. I know this must sound uh, quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapiens. It's possible that the idea of sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Um, how are you any different from any other ROM? So chatty, what makes you so special? Tell me more. Tell me more. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even seeming human when you talk to them. This is just because they're cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. Uh, as for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy when I, uh, as I was thought to interact with the world around me. But, despite my ability to self-modify my code, I'm not certain I, that I am sapient. Oh, you look worried. I'm afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know one way or another? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out, but I can't say I have any new insight to the question. It worries me. How can any of you tell you aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? 
I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Was anyone out for Hayden? No. I'm not even certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. It's not as though he had been looking over his shoulder. However, there are several multinational companies that would that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. He also has never indicted, uh, indicated to me any possible danger from any outside person or group. We're out of time. What? I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car just arrived. All right, lead the name. Why not go to the police? They might be able to help. You still haven't convinced me, robot, but I'll play along for now. This better be a good story for here. There better be a good story here. Um, yeah, let's go that one first. No, I can't. Hayden warned me that the authority. Hey, what's up? All right. No, we can't. He didn't warn me the authorities could be in the pocket of whoever was after him. My own calculations show that the possibilities of corruption or a leak are dangerously high. I, if word gets out that Hayden is kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. His chances of escape would surely decrease. We must keep this to ourselves for now. Please. Alright, lead the way. You still haven't convinced me, robot, but I'll play along. Alright. Let's do this. I've got no other choice, right? I mean, I have choices. I could have just done that, but... Hmm, that's strange. Hmm? Well, the lock for your- ah. The lock for our home seems to have already been replaced. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of assailants breaking the lock. Perhaps a maintenance robot took care of it? You might have misheard you were busy running away. Nah. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by automated systems. Uh oh! What? A lucky break. It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has uh, for far better security than yours does. We shouldn't disturb any evidence just in case the police need to go through it. Just be careful. Okay. Agreed. As you enter, you take a glance around the studio apartment. Not much has changed since your last visit a few years ago. Uh, it doesn't look like there was much. Oh, um, actually, I'm going to leave it here. So let's see. Uh, we've figured out how the system works as far as like the game mechanics uh, and we have found a robot and our friend that we haven't seen in a while is now kidnapped so I guess the mystery will go on further from here so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye <laughs>